Well, hey YouTube, I woke up today to find that my mini split heat pump has stopped working once again. Man, I really hate this thing. Well, shoot, we're not even out of this one season since its last major service and this heat pump has failed again. It was working yesterday. It dropped to about 30 degrees last night. That's not too bad. And this morning, it's not working anymore. So let me show you what's going on. We have these two lights flashing. This is the economy mode light. And the indicator light there is also flashing. That's only supposed to be operation, meaning that the unit's on. It's supposed to be solid. And then the timer randomly is turning on. Now this probably means some kind of code, but <laughs> the issue, this operation manual doesn't tell me what it is. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. First thing I do, I turn the unit off and on again. That error code still pops up. Second thing I do, I turn off the circuit breaker for an hour, and then I turn the circuit breaker back on. It started working for a couple of minutes and then went back to the error code. Once the operations manual uh, was no help, I checked online. Uh, I was able to find a troubleshooting guide for this model unit. And in that, uh, I printed out a couple of pages that should be helpful. And it says that this error code, when this light here, this operating light, is blinking 10 times for every one time of the timer, then that is down here at the very bottom. That's a discharge temperature error. So discharge temperature error. Well, that's, let's see, an outdoor unit error code. Okay, so we know that it's not a problem with this guy. Uh, let's see here. It says a protection stop by discharge temperature being greater than 230 degrees Fahrenheit during compressor operation. I don't see dead mice or something else that's incredibly obvious. Let's see here. This is really clean. How do I get to that compressor? Okay, let's try a couple more screws. So let's see, check if three-way valve liquid side is open. This looks like the three-way valve. How the hell do you know if it's open? <laughs> so I pulled out this electrical disconnect and now I'm, I'm in here and I'm messing around a little bit. So one of the potentials is this discharge thermistor. If I trace this up and around, I find that it's these brown wires to this controller. So let's take a look at that. Press, pull, okay. All right. We got 108.1. Okay. So let's check our sheet. Temperature, so it says 108.1, so it thinks that it's somewhere between 41 and 50 degrees. Right now it's 50 degrees. There's nothing wrong with this thermistor. So it wants me to check that valve and the strainer, which are over here. Okay, so it's starting up. Well, 
Well, I'm sorry to say, but I don't know what's wrong. Uh, I've messed around with it for a couple of days now. I've uh, been taking different temperature readings. I cannot pinpoint what part needs to be replaced. So I would l love to hear from you. If you have experience with units and uh, you do know what's going on, please let me know in the comments below so that I can uh, replace that part and make a video about it. Uh, it but, you know, as of right now, uh, I don't know what's going on, so I'm probably going to wind up ripping this unit out if I don't hear back from anybody. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, and if you enjoy these videos, uh, please like, subscribe, and share.